Sanchez was not only a father, husband, and brother, he was an avid basketball player. Every Thursday, he played with a group of friends at UNM. Today, his buddies played one man down, remembering their friend. News 13's Cole Miller is live in the Newsplex with more. Well, Kim, today's games went a little slower. According to those guys, without Daniel, they say it's harder to score. It's also hard knowing they'll never play with him again. This was an alternate family for Daniel. I mean, he was totally devoted to his own family, but he rarely missed a game. And he rarely missed the basket. He just shot lights out. Awesome. Daniel Sanchez knew the game. So he was the best pure shooter of anybody out here. Today, that shot and presence wasn't on the court. He can't really believe that somebody that you spent 90 minutes a week with twice a week is not going to show up the next time. Every Tuesday and Thursday, Sanchez, a father of three and an electrician at UNM, met up with some co-workers at the Johnson Center to play ball. He was very competitive and he raised everybody's game up. Those games have a different feeling now. I've played with Daniel for several years and it just is a hollowness. He was just a fantastic basketball player and a great guy and a lot of fun to be around. These guys say when Sanchez wasn't putting up big numbers, he was telling them all about life back home. And then talking about his family. You know, he talked about his kids a lot. These guys know that Sanchez will never be able to take this court again, but they say his memory lives on. That's why every game from here on out, they'll be wearing these black wristbands to honor Daniel. And it's through those wristbands, along with a mix of tears and laughter, that these friends say will help them heal. We just want to keep playing and think about him, just keep him in our hearts and minds. That's all we can do. And we'll miss him so much. Before a game on Tuesday, the guys gathered in a circle, spoke out, and shared memories of Daniel. Many of them plan on attending his funeral this weekend. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Cole. Now, Daniel Sanchez's basketball buddies have been in the news before. Back in 2010, we talked to them after one of their friends who played on the same team was murdered, Hector Torres. A UNM English professor, he had played with the team at Johnson Center twice a week for 20 years. Torres and his girlfriend, Stefania Gray, were killed early March 2010. Ralph Montoya later confessed to the murders and is serving 25 years behind bars. He was Gray's ex-boyfriend and had been stalking the couple.